everyone, Heaven Sigretsky back again, and I'm tired as fuck. It's been a very long day, but I needed to get my pickup video out, because I got a lot of shit, and I don't want it to keep piling up, so here's my stuff that I got over the past couple weeks. It's It's been about two weeks since I put out a video, but this should make up for it. So, first off, um, I made a trade with a... Uh, guy in uh from nerdtopia uh he also has a youtube channel uh the ideal retro pretty cool guy uh made a trade for a game and he threw in an extra because he's a pretty sweet dude but uh the uh game that i traded for was final fight on the super nintendo didn't have that so really happy to get that now and he also threw in uh scooby-doo classic creepy capers on the Game Boy, um, color. Sorry, I'm fucking beat right now, but, uh, that's awesome. Thank you for the, uh, extra free game. Uh, you know, I appreciate anything extra, so, uh, I owe you on our next trade, so, uh, hopefully we can make one soon. And then, um, also, I got, uh, two separate times off of, uh, Amazon Warehouse deals, um, they had these for really cheap, um, I'll just show you what they are, um, these Skylanders figures, uh, they're from the Giants series, this one's still wrapped, I haven't opened it yet, and like the resealed wrap that Amazon does, um, yeah, they were like a buck eighty, a buck ninety a piece shipped. So, um, I just picked up Skylanders, uh, Swap Force not a couple months ago, and, uh, I haven't really been playing it, but those figures were cheap, so I figured I'd pick them up, um, because there's certain parts in the game that you, uh, need the Giants figures to get to, you know, certain parts, so. Anyways, um, I went, it's been pretty slow at the flea market, and, garage sales the past couple weeks, um, I think garage sale season's basically over now, so I'm gonna have to find other ways to find some games, but, uh, a couple weeks ago I, I went with my friend, who I usually go with, um, Evan, and, uh, I found a few things at the flea market, um, fun set, this is actually all I found at the flea market that week. Uh, these, both these games are two fifty a piece, and the first one is Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver on the PS1. Had that on the Dreamcast already, but, um, I hear it's a really good game. I haven't, I played it on the Dreamcast for a little bit, I didn't get too far, but I figured I'd pick it up, and this, this Legacy of Kane and this next game are in really good shape, so, you know, I can't pass it up. And the next game is... Nightmare Creatures 2 on the PS1 as well. So both the discs are like flawless. So really excited to get those. Didn't have those yet. And then uh, my friend Evan, um, we kind of just give each other stuff that we have extra of that we don't really need. So we kind of just, I guess we just kind of trade back and forth or, you know, I don't know. Uh, but uh, he had these two games extra that he didn't need. And first, it's a disc-only copy of Twisted Metal 3 with a sticker on it. Um, I didn't have that, so I appreciate it. I'll take anything that's free, and I like Twisted Metal. And then he also gave me a copy of WWF Warzone on the PS1. No manual, but has the actual case. Um, I played a lot of this game when it came out as a kid. I uh, loved wrestling in the... Uh, late 90s, well, all through the 90s, so it was pretty sweet, um, and then, uh, also I, oh, damn it, last week at, uh, Best Buy they had a sale on some PS3 and Vita games and stuff, so I picked these up with my 20% off Gamer Clubs Unlock, uh, these games came out to, to 8 bucks a piece, so, first is, the Sly Collection on the Vita. Um, happy to get this. Uh, 
I mean, all three of those games for eight dollars is an awesome price. So I'm gonna get into that re real soon. And then I also picked up Beyond Two Souls on the PS3. Um, there's rumor that they're coming out with it on PS4, and I've actually played through about half the game already. Um, I rented it when it first came out, and it's enjoyable. Um, it's not as good as Heavy Rain, personally, so far, you know. Um, I, I I didn't get through the whole thing, so I guess I can't really say, but I'm, most people didn't really give it a good, I don't know, didn't have very good things to say about it. But it's not bad. I think it's worth playing, and for 8 bucks, you know, definitely going to pick that up. So the uh, next thing I got, of course, I went to GameStop again, because I go to GameStop all the time. I'll probably have a pickup from GameStop every week, but I always seem to find stuff, and it, you can get stuff cheap if you, you know, know how to do it. So um, first I got Spectra Force 3 on the 360, and um, it was 450 um, Really good price. I actually already have that, so I just picked it up because it was cheap. So, um, that's an extra. And I also picked up, picked up Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition, um, on the PS3. This was only 10 bucks, uh, new. Um, it comes with a, uh, like, two poster things. It's like a GameStop exclusive. It's a Greatest Hits case, but I really don't care about Greatest Hits stuff. At, at first, I feel like I used to care and I wanted all black box stuff, but now... I don't really care, I just want the game to play, and if I find a black box copy, I'll replace it, but, you know, for whatever, PS1, GameCube, PS2, all that crap, so, um, I really don't care, a game's a game to me, so, and then I also picked this up, which I already have on PS3, um, I had the novella edition that came with, a, like, a little booklet that was at, uh, Best Buy, um, I got that for real cheap after it came out years ago but I saw this and it ended up being like 12 13 bucks so I couldn't pass it up and that's Final Fantasy 13 2 the collector's edition on 360 um, like I said I already have it on PS3 um, but it's just it's a collector's edition for like you know cheap so why not it's got like this outer box and then this inner uh, disc set case opens up and oh, the game came up. But uh, it's pretty cool. It's got all these soundtrack CDs, and the, there's the game right there. And then there's like a art book right here. It's kind of stapled into it, but whatever. Square. Square Enix kind of has this weird way with limited editions and stuff with the these books and they don't actually have the actual game case with it they just put the disc in the book so I don't know whatever but that's awesome to get that for so cheap so I'm excited about that and then um next thing I got uh I actually a, a buddy well he's my brother's friend but he's a buddy of mine too I've known him for a long time um Kevin he uh awesome guy he um tried to trade in his PS2 and a few games to a local store but they wouldn't they wouldn't take it in I think because the um the uh port cover for like the um hard drive and stuff was missing so um he said you know he said that he I was just gonna end up tossing it. I was like, don't do that, you know, I'll take it off of you. And he ended up just giving it to me, so that was pretty sweet because um, a lot of the game, most of the games he gave me, I didn't actually have. And it's nothing spectacular, but um, definitely decent games. So uh, the PS2 I already have hooked up. I, I have two PS2s hooked up now. I don't know why. Sometimes I just feel like playing on my flat screen, but um, I'm not gonna unplug that to show you. but he gave me the PS2, um, and then this bag of memory cards and this, like, Game Shark. That's a Game Shark thing. I don't know exactly what it is. I never use the Game Sharks in action replays and stuff. So that's cool. And then the games he gave me was ATV Off-Road Fury 2. 
Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, Grand Theft Auto 3, which I actually didn't have. Um, I didn't actually have that ever. I've only played it over friends' houses. So it's kind of unbelievable I didn't have it, but I'm excited to have it now. So Tony Hawk's Underground, the first one. I thought it was the second one, whatever. And then this is a double Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And all of them have the manuals and the discs are really good. So thanks a lot, Kevin. You're awesome, dude. Um, I appreciate it. So uh, next what I got was I went to the thrift store a couple days ago. Uh, actually a new thrift store that I just found out about. They're a really small one. They have very limited hours. I don't know if I'm going to find too much there, but uh, their prices seem really good. So hopefully I... It just seems kind of like a hidden gem place. Hopefully not too many people know about it, so I'll try and hit there regularly. Hopefully I'll come away with something really good eventually. But I did pick up one thing from there. Um, it's kind of funny because I just got it from my friend Evan, and that's WWF Warzone on the PS1. And this one's complete. The disc is like flawless. And uh, this is only 50 cents, so... I have two copies of Warzone, um, but 50 cents, I'm going to pick it up. It's pretty awesome. So then uh, after that, I got uh, that same day, I went to a thrift store um, a while ago, and he had a ND, like a NES and uh, a bunch of stuff. I asked him if he had any old games, and because this is kind of a smaller thrift store, and he said he had a Nintendo, and he showed me it, and there's a box full of stuff, and a bunch of games, like River City Ransom, and, uh, God, I can't remember what else there was. Super Sprint. But I ended up pick. he ended up wanting 50 bucks for the whole box, and at that point, I wasn't, I didn't really want to spend that kind of money on it. So I picked out some games I wanted, and I just bought those. And I went in a couple months after that, and he said he still got the Nintendo, and then he wanted 25 bucks, and I told him no. And um, the reason I told him no is because the first time I went in there, I tested the system, and it just wasn't working. I, it was probably the pins just needed to be cleaned, but I didn't want to spend 50 bucks on it then, so the second time he says 25 I go in again after that, and he tells me 15, and I tell him no still, because I, I sh should have just bought it then, but I didn't. So I just went in there, and I asked him if he still had it, and he said yeah, and I told him I'd give him 10 for it, and he told me I'll give it to you for 15. I was like, okay, whatever, well, how about 12, and he ended up giving it to me for 12, and it does work. Um, I'm pretty sure the I just need to clean the pins. I'm actually going to try and boil them. That'll be the first time I try to boil uh, pins, so hopefully that works well. Um, it just seems like the connection isn't um, too good on the games when I was testing it, but it, it does work. I had to work with it a little bit, but I ended up getting a Nintendo for 12 bucks. Um, it's in pretty good shape. It's a little yellow on the front, but overall it's pretty decent looking. And I got two controllers, orange zapper, a very dirty power pad, which I actually have one of these already, so I don't need that one. And then it had four games with it. And these first two I didn't have, and that's Bandai Golf. Bo Jackson Baseball, and then these next two are doubles, and that's Blades of Steel and RBI Baseball. So, awesome deal for 12 bucks. Um, yesterday, because today's Monday, I don't know when I'm going to put this video up, but it's Monday today, so Sunday, yesterday, I saw on a local Facebook group a lady was having a garage sale, and I asked her if she had any games, she said she had some systems and she said she had a Nintendo 64 and a PS3 and she only wanted 10 bucks for them each so I dropped everything I drove down there 
down there as in like one minute away and I picked up a PS3 and a Nintendo 64 for 10 bucks each so the uh, 64 is a little dirty um, no port cover on the expansion pack but I tested it, it works, came with the power cable which was awesome and uh, awesome 10 bucks for that and she also had ready to rumble boxing awesome also which I didn't have so that's awesome and then I also picked up this slim 250 gig PS3 um, she said it was untested I plugged it in it was working it booted up fine it had Call of Duty 4 a Call of Duty 4 disc in it and I started it up and played it for a little bit to make sure the disc drive was working and it worked on everything and then I tried to eject the disc and the disc doesn't eject so I mean still for 10 bucks that's an awesome deal I actually already sold this so that's perfectly fine um, I actually have to ship this out tomorrow but yeah 10 bucks fucking awesome deal on a PS3 whether it's broken or not so this last pickup I got um, I actually got a week ago but this is the one I'm most excited about from the past couple weeks um, I just traded some stuff into a local disc replay and I got all this with credit so uh, first up is Sega Soccer Slam on the GameCube um, that was two bucks um, so excited to get that and trying to get you know all the GameCube games so really happy about that and then this game I've never actually seen before so I just picked it up it was only four bucks and that's Skull Jagger Jaeger I'm not really sure um, yeah I mean four dollars for a Super Nintendo game and it was just if I see a game I've never seen before and it's cheap enough I'll just pick it up and uh, my favorite part of all these pickups which I've been looking for for a while and I got this for a super good price and up being 25 bucks is a Game Boy Micro and it's in super nice condition um, works perfectly obviously it came from a store so hopefully it would and I had the charger with it and it was only 25 bucks and it was in credit I had to pick it up instantly so really excited about that so yeah that's everything I got the past couple weeks um, uh, I just keep keep finding stuff man but um, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys next time